Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be playing some more Neo 2, this time I'll be playing in high dynamic range HDR, so uh, some settings are only accessible from the main menu, so I'm going to show you the HDR settings that I'm using, peak brightness at 1000, standard brightness at 350, saturation at 4, screen brightness I've dropped from 50 down to 40 as it looked a little bit too uh, washed out and a bit like uh, the black didn't look quite dark enough and contrast of uh, pumps up to seven from five as it added just a little bit of extra richness and made it the dark look a little better um, it was more of a creamy white which was uh, undesirable I'm using an LG B9 OLED so your settings may differ if you're using maybe a Samsung QLED Sony um, OLED or something else like a Asus HD compatible monitor or so on you'll have to change the settings for your own display um, I doubt it's a one-size-fits-all so I'm just gonna go through the graphics settings as well while I'm here playing at resolution of 3840 by 2160 100% rendering score so I am playing at native frame cap is at 120 FPS and uh, it is quite challenging at times to actually keep it at 120 FPS high quality is the highest setting at the moment it may change for in the future DLSS is rumored to be coming to this game at a later date what I have done is drop effect quality from high to low. Now the reason I've done this is, in some instances, this will really, really slow down animations here. Trying to, they're, they're aware of the problem, the developers, and they are trying to fix it. So it doesn't really have a massive impact on visual quality, but for now at least, I recommend you drop the uh, that effect down to uh, low. So that is it for the in-game settings. Really, really been enjoying the Neo. I'm just gonna enable like my on-screen display so you guys can see the performance figures. So yeah, been loving Neo. This is the game I've just been really putting all my time into at the moment. So uh, I just wanna quickly do a mission and uh, let's have a look and see how things perform. So this mission's called Learning a Lesson. Someone stole Nobunaga's sword and we have to retrieve it. Like the good servants we are. Now, playing on the HDR, it really does um, improve the richness of the colors and the specular highlights. So even the tip of my um, axe is a lot more shiny than it was on standard dynamic range. And there's a lot of things that sparkle and glow on this game, so it really does bring that out. Anyway, let's get into the game. I'm currently using uh, the Axe. I've taken a, a liking to this. I used to use the Odachi and the Katana. Now I'm using the Axe and uh, the uh, Katana. I find the Axe to be a lot more fitting to my fighting style. Let me just take this guy out, making sure I'm in my high stance. I like to take guys out quickly. I've got my armor. He's quite big. Whoa. <laughs> I almost fall off, fell off there, someone tried to shoot me with a hand cannon and it really does push you back if you're not already blocking. So I'm going to try and get around this corner with my uh, match, I forgot the name of this gun now. And uh, I was able to take him out without being killed, so it's always a good start. So these red swords are revenant, basically online players that have died in the same area. I generally fight every single one that I see because you get something called, um, I think it is glory. It's called glory and you can use those points at tea house to buy special items. It's like a different currency other than the, the normal currency that you get in the game, other than gold. So I'm gonna avoid fighting anyone on tight spots like this because you can fall to your death and it's uh, kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna use my, Spirit Amulet and my Talisman, Barrier Talisman just to increase my stamina. So I've got to fight a tough enemy now. Don't last long because tried to push me off the edge there. So you've got to be careful some of these guys. Uh, made light work of him. Let's take out this beast now. So I generally just pick up everything around because I, I'll either sell it or if it's high enough level I'll soul match it and increase the level of the gear that I'm wearing. I'm a higher level than this mission recommends so it's very unlikely I'll find anything that's useful unless it's like a soul or something that I haven't already collected. Okay, let's uh, 
shoot this guy. Right in the face. That sucks. Got another guy over here. Take him out from range. Oh, he was a tough guy. Didn't even die. Let's see if I can get over to him quick enough to do. Yeah, try to finish him off. I was able to, but oh, still another guy popped out of nowhere. But he was hoping to push me down to my death. Didn't quite happen. Finish him off with a grapple as he was exhausted. Yeah, but in HDR, things uh, really are a lot more uh, rich, and uh, just the brightness of the shiny objects really, really do come through on this. So it's, uh, it's actually really good. I wonder how my yokai form would look because you're practically just glowing so that would be an interesting one i've got some small spirit stones so i'm going to make sure i use my yokai ability in this in this uh instance so you guys can actually see but i'll do that closer to the end maybe the final boss or something damn that took all my stamina to block most of these range guys range guys have terrible stamina so and terrible health so one hit and that's all it took See if we can take this guy out from here. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I took him out. He didn't even know anything about that. So these little cats, if you don't already know, they uh, fill up your special gorge, that little purple um, gorge level at the top there. That's your special ability gorge. So if you complete that, this little cat will out over time. It's maxed out at the moment because I haven't really had to use it. Okay, let's use a spirit amulet, carrier talisman. Never know what's happening in these instances. First thing to do is take out this guy with a gun. Switch the, the katana so you guys can see a different plane star for a little while. Let's take this guy. I prefer the mid stance with the katana, but the overhead stance because I've got quite a lot of stamina now because I've been pushing it. Because I'm using the axe, um, I can use the high stance a lot more effectively now. quick let's proceed Let's fight this revenant where there is plenty of space to kill. Them, so may as well fight him. Keep holster. Go back to my high side. I think I almost got hit with a sloth talisman, but it didn't quite come off. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the shrine now just to replenish my items and it also acts as a checkpoint for the level so if I do die, which probably won't happen, 
um, I'll start like from here rather than start the level. This guy trying to ambush me. See if I can, uh, he's already seen me. I don't know why you get these enemies that just lay dead even though they're still alive, they just lay flat and just allow you to kill them, that's a bit weird. Just make sure there's nothing up there that was ready to jump on down on me. This guy over here, I don't know what he's doing. Again, when you use the shrines your enemies respawn, so uh, just be aware of that. I'm back, stab this guy. Up so he instantly fill up your special bar as well, which is nice. Okay, this looks like a good area to get ambushed, so you can put the guys out one by one. Okay, what That's when you start fighting these guys in tight spaces and there's multiples of them, it can get pretty dangerous for you. It's a bit annoying to keep reading subtitles, but the, the English dub is awful. It's so awful. You do not want to be using that on this game. It's going to save you guys the trouble. If you're considering it, don't do it. Switch back to my axe now. This is my preferred weapon. So it's like a boss area. There's so many people. There's so many revenants on the floor. There's a lot of people like it. Usually in the case that they the boss. So I did say I was... I use my yokai ability here, so I seem to use some spirit stones. Use seven of them. Should get my boss ability up. Yep, my uh, yokai should I can transform at any time. Just gonna wait until the big enemies pop up. So this is one of them. I'm gonna transform. I want to see how that looks on I'm way too overpowered. Okay, who else is left? Okay, so that was pretty much it. That's a quick look at Neo 2 in HDR, and it does look pretty good. I must say, just everything that shines up shines up very, very bright. Even the tip of my katana here looking extremely shiny, way more shiny than it did on SD, uh, standard dynamic range. So, uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.